Today, Coros is releasing a brand new heart rate monitor on the market. And as far as I know, it's simply called the Coros Heart Rate Monitor. And it's a wearable optical style heart rate monitor that you wear up on your arm and away from your wrist, which should make our heart rate data much more accurate. So, this is the new wearable optical heart rate monitor from Koros, and it's similar in many ways, or uh, maybe I should say it's competitive in many ways to uh, products like the Polar Verity Sense, the Wahoo Ticker Fit, uh, and the Rhythm 2.0. The Rhythm 2.0 is a product that I actually haven't ever tested here on this channel. But this is very similar in that it is an optical heart rate sensor, meaning it uses light to penetrate the skin and to detect a pulse and then it uses software to tease out any sort of other potential anomalies that might distort your pulse from other rhythms. Rhythms like your running cadence, for example. And optical heart rate sensors are what's used typically on the back of most popular GPS watches. So Coro should be very familiar with this technology. Now what makes this product different is primarily that you wear it higher up on your arm, away from that wrist joint, which does typically make it a lot more accurate. You see, when you're looking for a spot to get good, accurate readings from an optical heart rate sensor, you want a spot that doesn't move a lot and is typically away from any sort of bony joint areas. So the, the wrist does work, uh, it's just not ideal. It's not an ideal location. So what you'll notice when you actually move these optical heart rate sensors from your wrist up further away from your wrist joint and up further away from the moving and swinging of the arm, you end up getting much more accurate readings. Now technically, you could just take a longer watch band from your uh, Koros Apex 2 watch and move it up your arm and you would probably see better results. Uh, but this is a nice, easy, standalone product that Bluetooth connects to your watch where you can still see your watch and all of that data and still get good, accurate heart rate data as well. Now, the other traditional heart rate monitor style is a chest strap style sensor. And it's also extremely accurate when you're exercising because it's not actually relying on uh, seeing the reflection of light against your pulsing blood, uh, but it's actually relying instead on picking up the electrical signal that's actually triggering your heart to beat. So as long as you have a good connection to your skin, your body isn't too dry, for example, as is often the case for me in the winter time, uh, those ECG style chest straps is inevitably gonna be the most accurate way to get your heart rate data. But I know a lot of you guys hate chest straps. It is kind of a tricky location, and I know a lot of you guys have issues with that. So this Koros heart rate monitor, it's kind of the best of both worlds. You can wear it up higher on your arm where you're gonna end up getting more accurate results, and it's typically a lot more comfortable for you guys. Now, taking a look at the actual device itself, you'll notice that there's not actually any buttons on this thing. It just wakes up and turns on as it detects your skin over the sensor and it starts transmitting a signal to any connected Bluetooth device. And this device is Bluetooth connectivity only. It does support up to three simultaneous connections. So if you need to send data to some sort of Zwift device or an iPad or an Apple TV or something like that, uh, a cycling computer, and you know something else, you can do all of that. But it is still kind of a bummer that there's no Ant Plus connectivity here. Koros did say that it needed a specific chipset for that, and it was actually pretty hard on battery life. And speaking of battery life, uh, this device will go for 38 hours within an activity, which is pretty long activity, uh, or 80 hours in standby mode. So the battery life on this is, it's really better than any similar wearable optical heart rate sensors that are on the market. And the price of this device is also a bit on the low side, which is nice, uh, $79, which is similar to Wahoo ticker fit the MSRP on that device at least I have actually seen that Wahoo ticker fit for like 10 bucks less when I've been scouring the internet for deals uh, I will leave links to the best prices that I can find for both this new Koros heart rate monitor as well as a few of the competitive options if you guys want to check those out and I'll leave that in the description of this video as well as maybe in the comment section uh, but we should hop over to the computer and take a quick look at some data 
Okay, on this run, we have four devices worn at the same time. The Apple Watch here is shown in green. Then I have the uh, Apex 2, the Coros Apex 2, shown in red here. And that's actually not connected to the Coros heart rate monitor. That's just using the basic watch optical heart rate sensor that's on the back of that watch. And then in gold here, uh, kind of our gold standard, I'm using the Garmin HRM Pro, that's the chest strap, so ECG style chest strap, and it should be our most accurate device. And again, we're comparing all of this to, uh, in purple here, the Coros heart rate monitor. It's actually just connected to a different watch. So four different devices collecting heart rate data here. And you can actually see that uh, two devices actually struggled a little bit to get started here. Kind of just looks like they're struggling to get a good signal. And then once they get locked on, everything's decent. Uh, here, again, the Apple Watch took a little bit of time to get started, really didn't come into connection until after the first five minutes. The other device that struggled a little bit was that Apex 2 from Coros, uh, kind of showing some busted data here before it gets locked on. Uh, of course, the, the new Coros heart rate monitor really does a good job even early on in this run, which is difficult for optical heart rate monitors to do, just because they do take a little bit of time to lock onto that pulse. Uh, but you can see that it's the one that does the best here, that purple and gold marker they show pretty pretty close here together um, throughout the run and this again is a it's a run that's basically on a flat surface we were actually just trying to uh, develop a, a 5k course for the local high school here and so we're running on kind of flat surfaces and on some track surfaces here but if you look at the heart rate data again um, as we had some dips, we were probably trying to decide which route to go or what we wanted to do for the course. You can see that again, it's the Apex 2 in the Apple Watch that are struggling a little bit more than the Coros heart rate monitor in the chest strap. Again, here it goes, you know, Apple Watch goes a little bit high. And uh, other than that, you know, not bad as you get further and further into the run, it does tend to do pretty well. And then again, I, am, I have been seeing this with the Apple Watch, just a little bit of struggle uh, throughout the runs. Next set of data that we could take a look at is a trail run that was a little bit more difficult, just a lot of variation in terrains. And this is the only set of data that I have that really kind of shows any sort of struggle whatsoever with that new Coros heart rate monitor. Again, it's in purple here. It does lock on really well early on with what the Coros Apex 2 does. Again, two optical heart rate monitors. Uh, our gold standard here, the chest strap is showing um, slightly different data here, kind of for that first four minutes. Uh, again, once everything locks on, I just don't see any problems with this data whatsoever. Uh, again, difficult trail run really solid data. Typically with optical heart rate monitors, I do see a little bit of time for things to lock on. Uh, next set of data is a really flat, easy trail run along a lake. Was a trail run, but it wasn't difficult at all. And this is interesting because uh, we're using four watches here. Again, Apple Watch Ultra, Apex 2, the Coros heart rate monitor connected to a different watch, and the Garmin heart rate monitor pro in gold. And if you look at this, just spot on right from the get-go, the heart rate monitor from Coros locks in with the uh, gold standard here, our chest strap. The other two watches, the Apple Watch and the Apex 2, again, struggle quite a bit. And then what's interesting is that Coros Apex 2 really struggles quite a bit throughout the run, whereas the, uh, the Apple Watch in green does a pretty good job. The Coros heart rate monitor maybe slips a little bit here, but again, it gets pretty close to right back into it. Uh, whereas the Apex 2 is really showing some, some busted data and then kind of locks back on after 18 minutes of this run. And this run wasn't super long, it's like a 30 minute run, uh, but it did take a really long time for all of these devices to come in and kind of sync up. Last one, and I don't think that we should take this too seriously. I actually did put on this device and take it for a swim. So again, just two devices on this one. This is a Garmin watch that's connected to that Coros heart rate monitor worn on the arm in the swim, and then the Apple Watch Ultra on the wrist. Now keep in mind that this Coros heart rate monitor cannot transmit 
uh, heart rate signal through the water very easily. Typically, this is, I mean, this is just a problem with physics here, uh, but you can't transmit radio signals easily through the water. So it's having a very hard time sending the heart rate signal to the watch itself. And not that we should trust the Apple Watch Ultra data, because typically wrist-based optical heart rate monitors really struggle when swimming, just because the arm is moving a lot and it's very hard to lock onto a pulse when the arm is swimming through the water and moving through the water quite a bit. But what you can do is you can see uh, at least decently where I'm doing dif different kind of workout sets here. Uh, so this is probably a 300 meter swim. Again, these don't match at all. Which one's correct? I, I don't know, it's really hard to say. Um, I would probably lean towards the Apple Watch being a little bit more accurate in this case, and then the Coros heart rate monitor probably catching up once the uh, arm came out of the water and were recovering in between sets. So some longer sets here, and then this last set is 850s. So if we zoom in, we take a look at that, you can see like this is the first set, this is the second one, and there were short recoveries, but you can see each of the eight heart rate spikes as I did these last 850s. I, I don't think that this is a device that you're supposed to use in the water. Koros would not recommend it at all, uh, but I, I tried it just for the fun of it. Okay, so why spend $79 on this device or why spend any money at all? I think it comes down to two things. One, you do want the additional accuracy when compared to whatever GPS watch or wrist-based optical heart rate monitor that you have on your watch. Whether that's a, a Garmin watch or a Polar watch or a Coros watch, doesn't necessarily matter because this device will work with a variety of different watches. That and you're uncomfortable with a chest strap. So I think if you fall into that category, it definitely might be worth looking at this Coros heart rate monitor. And I think you should look at it in comparison to uh, one, the more expensive Polar Verity Sense. Uh, that device is a little bit different. It does cost more, but it also has onboard memory. Uh, so that might work a little bit better when it comes to swimming and some different things like that. Uh, oftentimes you'll see that device come with a little clip for your goggles where you can actually connect to different devices while swimming. Also having 16 gigs of onboard memory on that device does allow it to store heart rate data and then download it to your watch after you're done with your swim. And then you also probably want to compare this device to the Wahoo Ticker Fit, which I think is a very, very similar device to this. But I've always been a huge fan of Koros as a company, and I actually think that their customer service has really been excellent in all of my experiences. But either way, whether you're looking for a heart rate monitor or not, make sure that you're getting out there swimming, biking, running, rinsing, and repeating it all over again. And we will see you guys on the next one. Thank you.